The King of Jazz was released on May 5th, 1930. It did only mediocre business since the cycle of early musicals had run its course. The film did not earn back its production cost until 1933 when it was re-released, this time billed as a Bing Crosby movie. Paul Whiteman returned to New York in April for the premiere of The King of Jazz. The Rhythm Boys stayed in Hollywood and looked for any kind of work in films, radio, or private parties. Meanwhile, the Rhythm Boys, those eloquent exponents of chamber music, are warming up on the sidelines, and now we'll send them to the front to make good in a song from Paul Whiteman's picture, The King of Jazz. It's entitled, A Bench in the Park. Why, just the other day, I heard a fellow say, in a very, very woe-begone way, Romeo and Juliet, I'm quite sure didn't have to pet upon a hardwood bench in the park like this is. They had moonlight up above, all the scenery of love and things like that so helpful to hugs and kisses. Oh, but you and I, my dear, need no such atmosphere. A bench in the park on romantic and plain. That bench in the park can be our lover's the bright gleaming light of a lamp or a moon. A cold, dreary night, but in our hearts there is you. A lone little bird in the branches above is plaintively heard serenading. And what more do we need, you and I in the dark, on a bench in the bum bum And what more do we need, you and I in the dark? Jiggers the op K, the op K. Oh, for goodness sakes, get me out of here quick, fellas. Hey, boys, I'm the cop, and you two had better leave. Why, we're not trying to deceive. And you can take, take your, your old park anyway. So there. Bing was now dating Dixie Lee steadily. Dixie had featured roles in the Fox movie tone Follies and Happy Days. Her career was flourishing as Bing's was floundering. Dixie's boss at Fox and many of her friends told her to forget Bing because of his drinking and playboy reputation. Bing was told he could never be a leading man in pictures because his ears stuck out. While acting roles eluded him, Hollywood was happy to use his voice on occasion. Pathé finished the two-reel short, Two Plus Fours, and released it on August 10, 1930. The Rhythm Boys did not star, but were featured as singing college students. In August 1930, the Rhythm Boys recorded Three Little Words with Duke Ellington, and it became the number one record in October. They also sang Three Little Words with Duke Ellington's orchestra in RKO's Check and Double Check. Because it was an Amos and Andy film, the Rhythm Boys sang off screen, probably behind this very curtain. 
Three black trumpeters from the Ellington Band, Freddie Jenkins, Cody Williams, and Artie Wetzel, will pretend to sing Three Little Words in the next scene, but the voices are those of Bing Crosby, Al Rinker, and Harry Barris. In September 1930, the Rhythm Boys began an eight-month engagement at Hollywood's famous Coconut Grove nightclub at the Hotel Ambassador with Gus Arnheim's orchestra. Hollywood stars flocked to the Grove to hear Bing. His solos stole the show. A nightly radio broadcast from a room above the Grove nightclub beamed Bing's voice up and down the West Coast. We play the game of stay away, but it costs more. And I can pay, without you I can't make my way. I surrender, dear, I may seem proud, and I may act gay, that's just a pose, I'm not that way, cause deep down in my heart I say, I surrender, dear. 1930, I was in the Coconut Grove with the Rhythm Boys. Mm -hmm. We'd left Whiteman then, and we were with Gus Arnheim's band. Also in the band was Russ Colombo, and also uh, Eddie Bush, his trio. It was quite an entertaining unit. There was lots of singers, lots of uh, instrumentalists. It was uh, an all-star aggregation. We put out good, good evenings entertainment. I believe at that time that we had a radio outlet too, MJB Coffee or some coffee. And I think the radio outlet reached uh, up in the Pacific Northwest, and we used to uh, have a session oh, during a dance break where we'd go up into a studio up above the, bands, the bandstand and uh, take a lot of songs, sing a lot of songs uh, with piano only and do some dialogue, and uh, that was good training. You mentioned Russ Colombo. Was he singing with singing the band and, at the and, same and, time? Uh, play the violin. He was, he was a violinist, and he sang certain songs. I sang some... Uh, the Rhythm Boys sang some, the Eddie Bush group sang some, had everything going. To you, my love, my life, my all, I surrender, dear. Would you please shut off that noise? Noise? Mother, that thing Crosby. I don't understand how you can be so interested in a radio singer that you've never even seen. I, for one, don't like it. Thousands of girls can't all be wrong. Less than a month after starting at the Coconut Grove, Bing Crosby and Dixie Lee were married on September 29, 1930. Douglas Fairbanks saw Bing at the Coconut Grove and hired him to sing one song with B.B. Daniels in Reaching for the Moon. Bing was paid $100 to film the sequence late one evening after singing at the Grove. Lenox Avenue is known for New and Low Down, but you find they're not alone in New and Low Down. Fifth Avenue's learning how they had to fall. Fifth Avenue does it now. That's not all. Whenever the folks pile to that mean low down, now there's no low down lower than that. Whenever the swell low down and become Low down, there's no low down lower than that. You may believe it or not, when they start getting hot, others know hot, hot, hot of them back. So you can lay your dough down when they go low down. There's no low down lower than that. 